Okay, here we are at Clark Auction. We're previewing September sale. It's September the 12th. It starts at 10 a.m. We are loaded. We didn't have a sale in August, so we, we've been fishing all month. We've got Paella merchandise. We are absolutely loaded, 700 lots. We have used furniture. We start off, look at this. We have a pair of these ebonized, gilt metal mounted marble top commodes. To the right of it, we have this good looking girl here. It's sort of a faux marble, very heavy. We took her in from outside in case the in case Superstorm Henri, which just turned out to be a bit of Irish wet weather, took her down and she didn't get taken down, but here she is, she has a pedestal. Here we have a bronze, it's after Rodin. Nice big large size and it has the Rudier foundry mark on it. We have lots of used furniture, like that pair of French style chairs. In the center there we have that Demi Loon, Adam style, nice beautiful patina on it, banded with inlay. Over here we have this large, French, probably 19th century bronze mounted French leather top bureau plaid, big bronze mounts, look at the face there, the feet. Nice patina, nice quality, needs a bit of work, lots of mid-century, like this pair of chairs. Over here I like this pair of marble top cabinets, ebonized and gilt decorated with a brass trim here. These came out of Sotheby's, they have a bit of age so they're nice, seems to be good interest in them. It was a nice estate actually, came out of White Plains, we have this player neoclassical, probably 19th century, also bronze mounted chairs, nice patina, unfortunately just a pair. We have lots of Asian furniture, this sort of reticulated pair of marble inset panels. Some of the bronze, we have that Russian, that's a metal, patinated metal bronze signed on the base. Here, one of the stars of the sale, we have this table by Laverne, a rare, nice big large size, beautiful base on it, it's called the Eternal Forest, and it's in wonderful shape. A lot of interest in this, so hopefully that does well. Okay, we're moving in the main room. Look at this. Stuff keeps coming in the door. We don't know where to move. Our storages are full. So we also have a sale. We have an online art sale in September as well. So keep an eye at our site. Okay. We have a large lot of mice and porcelain in the sale. Very large lots. We have this lot, floral decorated mire and port mice and porcelain. It comes in three lots. We put the tureens and a lot of dishes. On top here, this is uh, Minton and Royal Dalton for Tiffany. Nice with the, you know, the leveled uh, gilt and cobalt. Here more porcelains, lots of bronzes and clocks in the sale. We have this Bergman bronze, nice big large size. Look, the arrow fella sitting there under the tree. We have this beautiful bronze here, the woman with the crocodile chasing her. This clock garniture set is very nice. Once again, you've got to go to clarkny.com to view a lot of this because there's so much, but I'm going to go through it slowly as possible, but still you should go there to see if we have this Flora Danica. Big porcelain charger, some wonderful enamel decorated glass, lots and lots of that. We have Dresden, we have Meisen, we have Favril glass, more Dresden. Below here, one lot of five bronzes and one lot, nice big old bronze. I think they might have been in a fire. Then we have this wonderful sort of Sev style clock garniture set back there, nice and large with the dome top, sort of cathedral size. From a certain place south estate, we have this R. Lalique Paris Consus. We also have a large chandelier, it's called the Coquilo chandelier. Big one, we, it came out of the estate and some place out, it's in pieces. So the image we have online, we took from an online image, but the chandelier's all there, it worked in some place out, we have an image from it when it was in the apartment, but we lost the nuts and bolts, or they didn't come with it. This is quite a rare Royal Worcester, tree form vase with the monkey and the frog on top of them. We have automatons, we have wonderful large pieces of mizen. We have Le Coulter clocks. We have more Meisen over here. Russian bronze grouping. More clocks down here. Okay, we're gonna swing around into the uh, furniture here. We have lots of mid-century, including this bedroom set here. Comes also with the mirror, nice two end tables, beautiful patina on it. We have this bronze over here. This is kind of from the Schaefer, the Beer family's estate. One of my favorite pieces in the sale, nice big large. It's by an artist called Bruno Zim. Doesn't have huge auction records, but it's a really wonderful piece, rare, and he has some, I suppose, monumental sculptures out there. We have this wonderful mid-century uh, desk. I believe it's Peter Lovig. Folds over at the back. We have a set of these three mid-century chairs, came from 72nd Street. Put all three in one lot. And we have a pair of these. We get these quite a bit and they do very well. A pair of design for leisure. Look at the chrome base, lovely stools. More John Stewart mid-century. We're gonna to to scrape through here. We are so loaded, it's hard to get through. We have this Ames, wonderful colors in this Ames little uh, lounge chair or settee. We had 
a matching one in the last sale, both came out the same estate. On either side of it, we have a pair of sort of Paul McCabe style uh, tables with the brass base. This is by Stanley, mid-century etagere. These chairs, nice upholstered. These are by Pace, I believe. We have an Italian steel table, lots of bronze sconces in the sale. And come to my favorite items in the sale. Look at these chairs, nearly looks like a high heel. Not that that's why they're my favorite, but uh, probably Larson fabric, 60s as you get, and a great size, James Mont signed. This is part of the bedroom set. Here from the same estate as those two Regency style cabinets at the front, we have this satin wood marble top cabinet, also has a Sotheby's label on it, has good age, really wonderful patina. We have shared and style sofas, look at this large vitrine, Louis XV1, nicely carved, look at the swags, the roses on it. This all came from Darien in Connecticut. We have a pair of these sort of gridiron tables as you'd call them. Age-wise, I don't know, but nice quality with sort of stone top. We have lots of mids furniture with Berkey and Gay sideboards. Maitland Smiths, look at the size of this clock. Newer, but desirable. They like their Maitland Smith. We have this also from Darien with a lot of Victorian furniture. Look at this mountain man table. Look at these guys here holding up the table. Plenty of leaves. And a few light scratches on it, but ready to go. Brimfield coming, they'd love that table up there. We have this, look at this clock, Louis XV style bronze. Tina's a bit darker, but a good big size, beautiful clock. Over here from Darien, look at this cabinet here. I'll stand beside them all, rosewood, beautifully carved, beautiful mirrored back, mirrored back on top, as you like it. Sets of chairs in the sale. We have a pair of these, modern, but ebonized and gilt decorated. Below it, these are probably uh, Milo Baum and pair of pedestals. We have a horn chairs. We have beautiful chandeliers, nice hurricane style chandeliers. We have end irons. Look at the two Sphinx end irons down there. This is a beautiful table here. We're selling it with the mirror. This came from the Sutton House, uh, Sutton Place South Estate that had the Lalique and stuff. This beautiful table has a beautiful mirror. Atop that we have this bronze, sort of Rodin style. Here we have, this is a nice early Herman Miller chair with ottoman. Here we have a George Smith signed leather ottoman. It comes with a pair of chairs, a pair of bronze uh, torsiers there. Same estate in Manhattan as the beautiful chairs. We have this Asian modern ebonized table by James Mont. It's good looking little pig sitting on top of it, Abercrombie and Fitch. We have a Moser table here. We have as you can see, lots of carpets in the sale. We have this Noll, and Andre, or Andre, as we would say. Andre, as you would say, table. We have two of these, a nice larger one. I'll show it to you when we pass it. Here we have an Irish bullseye mirror, Regency gilt mirror. Looks like it's good age on it. We have nice pairs of tables, mid-century chairs. Here we have a pair of, you know, sort of paint decorated and metal tables, good weight on them, in the style of Paul Evans. And we know a lot of people like dogs, so we have this, uh, looks like a greyhound, with that on top of his head. Just ideal for putting your, if you like these type of dogs in Ireland, you can put your beer on top of them. Here we have this porcelain dog, probably Italian porcelain, or ceramic. Here's the other Andre table, it's nice because of the size, it's extra long, as you can see. I'll sit on top of this George Smith sofa here, and you can have your friends in and drink on that. From the Madisar, from the estate where the two uh, cabinets outside came from, we have this pair of tables, two-tier marble, 19th century, wonderful quality, wonderful condition. More mid-century style chairs here. We have this leather glove chair, Joe DiMaggio, in great shape, signed. From a Brooklyn estate, we have a pair of these patinated bronzes, this torso and the bust over there. I'm running you rampant here, there's so much stuff. Steve, we have this wonderful triple Patterson Sheraton style table. This came from a Maronick State, opens up big. You can have it as two demi loons as you want also. Top this, look at the size of these two, uh, these two wonderful bronze figural sconces. These came from Great Neck, I believe, great condition. Big size as we have lots of them in the sale. Set of, what would you call these, shieldback chairs. 
Wonderful, we have six of them, I believe, are 19th century, and the rest of them are added, so the 20th century. Got to show you these sconces, we have the pieces here. But look at these sconces, the size of them, Italian wood, probably from the 50s. We have the bits of the top of one of them, so the ribbon crest is broken on one of them. Here behind here, Adam style china cabinet, also came out of Sotheby's. Not the most desirable of the of at the moment, but if I was getting one, I would like this one. Okay, we have two pairs of bird sconces in the sale. We have this pair here. Good age, great quality. We have another pair that the same came out of a sale in London. Moving along, we have this Georgian chair with the needle point on. Just take this giraffe off it for a minute. Beautiful chair here. Nice and comfy to lounge in here. This is a big chandelier. Look at the size of that down there. Got rock crystal, absolutely the best. This came from a Maranek estate. Here, this one's attributed to Baccarat. This came from Connecticut, also wonderful. So if you're looking for great chandeliers, this is a good estate for skeleton form. Moving right along, just keep an eye on the chairs and tables as we move along. I have to stop at this guy here. This also came from Marnik, where that wonderful chandelier came from. Look at the size of this bronze, I can nearly ride it home. Only he might get a bit annoyed, but we can always push him off there, right? Wonderful patina, wonderful quality. A little newer, but what a very nice quality. Couldn't find a signature. Mid-century tables here. Trying to look around, we have this little Fritz Hansen set here. If you're seeing stuff in the sale lying around I'm not talking about, it's because it hasn't been picked up yet, or it will be picked up. We have this... Uh, Hall tree, it's a little bit shaky, needs a little bit of stiffening. Little bare hall tree. We have vitrines. We have this 18th century serpentine front commode. Came from West End Avenue State. Nice at the marble on it. Nice big size. Over here we're getting towards the finish line. We have these Arnie Jacobson set, two chairs, and a Nottoman underneath, as is, but nice original pair. This chandelier was purchased from a David Duncan in the city attributed to bag, bags, according to him, along with this chandelier. This came from an Irish estate, actually it's the base and it has a wonderful big mirror on top of it. It came from the home that has the Irish style drop front cabinet. Here we have a wonderful Louis Philippe style dining room table. Two big leaves, wonderful bronze mounts. This came from Scarsdale, sitting atop it with this gilt metal based table. We, we won't drag you up there, Steve, we'll point. We have this wonderful desk here on Sawhorse Legs from 72nd Street. We have pairs of demi loons over here. Italian came from West End Avenue. Good age on them. Below that we have this table. This is very heavy with the marble top. Absolutely wonderful bronze, wonderful work. Heavy. Set of these Regency style ebonized and gilt chairs. And speaking of Victorian, we have this mirror back etagere here. In the style of Horner, beautifully carved. This all came from Darien, 18th or 19th century English chest. We have this Mills. Do we have a five cents in our pocket? No, but I believe it works. Five cent machine. Another attaché. We have this large bull cabinet, extra large size. And we're going into this room before we come to the finish. We have this child sled. Look at this. For Old master painted panels on it to match the age of the sled. Armoires. As rare. Wonderful present. We have armoires, corner cabinet, Danish modern desk lying on their side. We have this care home chair, just came in, as is, but nice rare chair. We have this Warren Plattner lounge chair. We also have a little wire stool over there. Mid-century desks. Highly carved items, highly carved cabinets. We're getting there. I know you're getting tired, the cameraman's beginning to falter a bit here. We have this English vitrine. We have this Irish cabinet here. Look at this big lion head on it and the claw feet. So a lot of good Victorian furniture. Check it out. Look at this rosewood. Came out of the city. Beautiful rosewood mid-century cabinet. Try and build that. That'll save you doing it. Just a quick glimpse over here at some of the stuff over here. We got china cabinets, cheval mirrors, Chinese tables, spider leg tables, campaign tables, Italiano tables, chests on chests. 
we are absolutely loaded. And bear in mind, we also have a sale on in September. I don't know the date. Check it online, which is an online art sale. 260 paintings in that, all no reserve, estimated 50 to 2,000. Do not miss it. We're accepting consignments for our next sale and we're starting to build it. Thank you. See you on the 12th. We're off to Jamaica this week on holidays with the staff, so have a good time.